So in the last video, we talked about creating a queue sequence with crossfade times. And all of our crossfade times in the five queues that we built were basically straight crossfades. We manipulated these times, which ETC Nomad give, gives us a, a basic default time of five seconds. But we saw that how we could change them to whatever we want, either slower or faster, all the way down to zero. Just as a reminder, let's go back and look at our queue sequence here and see what we've done. So I'm gonna click go to Q0, enter, and I'm gonna reset my board all the way back to the beginning of my Q stack. Once it's reset, I'm gonna click go, and my first Q is gonna come up in zero seconds. My second Q is gonna come up in zero seconds, but it's a direct crossfade. It means this both of these are gonna come up in zero and down in zero. So uh, it looks a little like this when I click go, one comes up and go two comes up and go three comes up and then four comes up in five seconds. Notice how uh, it's taking five seconds for the greens to also fade out and then five comes up in zero. Um, great. So sometimes we don't want a direct crossfade like that. Sometimes we want one cue to do a little something different as the other cue uh, comes up. Here's what I mean. So let's go to Q1. So I'm gonna click go to Q1, enter, all right? And it's gonna take me back to my red spotlights. So let's imagine I wanna make this look a little bit differently. I want the ones to come up at zero. But when then I go to Q2, I actually want the reds to linger for just a second. So I'm gonna change the down fade time here. Um, I'm gonna have the blues pop up at zero, but I'm gonna have the reds fade down a little slower. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna say Q2 time, and I'm gonna keep it coming up at zero. But then I'm going to click time again. And notice it's given me the up time and a down fade time. I'm going to make the down fade time three. And then I'm going to click enter. And you notice what it's done here is Q1 comes up in zero. Then Q2 comes up in zero, but it brings Q1 down in three. So here's what I mean. Let's reset our Q stack. I'm going to go back to Q0 reset to the beginning, I'm gonna play these two cues. So Q1 is gonna look the same as it always has. It's gonna pop the reds up. But now when I click go on Q2, the blues are gonna pop up, but then the, the last Q is gonna fade down in three. So watch this. Here comes the blue and the reds go down in three. So remember Q3, uh, popped up our greens. So let's click go again. If we wanna do the same thing, we can say um, Q3 time, and let's keep it going up in zero, but then let's click time again and make the last Q be replaced in three. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for Q4. Q, uh, that's our blackout. Let's leave our blackout the way it is, right? So let's clear that. So let's go back and look at that sequence again. Go to Q0, enter. So now what we'll get is the blues and the greens are still gonna pop up, but it's gonna allow the last Q to lag behind in a three second crossfade. So Q1, red. Q2, blues come up in zero, but reds go down in three. Right? Q3, greens come up in zero, but the blues go down in three. And here we go to four is a nice five second blackout. Let's say we want to make that the same fade time as our down fade for the rest of the other ones. So let's say um, Q4 um, goes down in three, enter. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to press time. So let me go back and clear, clear, clear. Um, Q, four, time, three, 
enter. So now my downtime on four has also the same downtime on my other colors, which is really important for matching the speed of music. So I'm gonna go back to Q0 and we're gonna watch our stack one more time. I'm gonna wait till my board resets to zero, right? And uh, Q1 is on deck, that's why it's gray. So when I click go, it goes up in zero. Now the blues are gonna come up in zero as the reds go down in three. The greens come up in zero as the blues come down in three. Four takes us to a blackout into a three count. And then five, boom, right? So we can combine up and down times uh, to make some really amazing effects. And we can make these come up slowly while the other ones snap out. So let's look at that. Let's actually change this around. Let's go uh, Q to time. Let's make it come up in three, up in three time, the last one down in zero. Enter, and you see how they switch places here. And Q three time, three time, zero, enter. So let's see what that looks like. Let's go to Q0, click enter, and watch our Q stack reset. Um, all right. And we are in a blackout in Q0 here with Q1 being the next one. So now um, the reds are gonna come up. Uh, let's go ahead and change that to three as well. So Q1, Q1 time three, enter. So what we've done is we've changed the flow of things. Uh, all of our lights are going to come up in three, but then the last lights, instead of lingering, are going to snap out very quickly. So here comes Q1. Our reds come up in three. And now what's going to happen? Our blues are going to come up slowly, but our last Q is going to snap out in zero. So that looks like this. Doom. Up in three. Boom, up in three, and then three seconds there. Actually, if we wanted to make that look like maybe similar music, we might say Q for time zero, because we've had the other one snapping out. And then five was all of our lights coming back. So let's change that to three. Q, five, time three, enter. And let's watch our sequence one more time. So we're gonna go to Q. Uh, zero, uh, enter, and it's gonna reset my Q stack back to zero. We'll wait till that's accomplished. My next Q is one. So go, the reds up in three, and go. The blues up in three, but the reds snapped out. The greens up in three, but the white snapped out. Four snaps out, and then five, everything comes up in three seconds. So that's a mix of up fade time and down fade time, and you can continue to play with those. Let me show you just one more time how to do that. So let's record one more cue. I'm gonna go back to my magic, um, my magic sheet here. Uh, and let's say in the next cue, um, we want, um, to go just back to the blues again. So I'm gonna take my greens and my reds um, out. And let's say I just wanna leave, let's say I wanna leave just this, my model in the spotlight. I think that's a great looking cue. So I wanna record this as Q6. So I can either type in record Q6, enter, or I can type in record Q next, and it automatically gives me the next Q number, which was six. And this is what my Q6 looks like. If I go back to my, um, my Q list here, my active Q list, um, I'm not sure. Oh, all right, I forgot to hit enter, sorry, enter. Now I have a Q6, right? So let's imagine that we, our last Q, if we go back, our last Q was all of these guys um, on. 
right? So let's imagine we want them all to fade slowly out. Um, so Q6, I can say Q6 time. Let's have these fade out over eight seconds. Enter. Let's go back and watch our entire sequence. Go to Q0, enter. And let's let our board reset itself. All right, so here we're gonna get the reds up in three, then the blues up in three, but the reds out at zero. The greens up in three, but the blues out at zero. Four is gonna take everything out at zero. Five is gonna bring everything up at three. And then we're gonna have a nice slow Q transition to the lone blue spotlight in the center. All right, so let's watch that sequence. Here we go. Reds up in three. Dun, dun, dun. Blues up in three, and the red snap out. Dun, dun, dun. Green, blue snap out, and greens up in three. Everything snaps out. Five is up in three. And then six is a nice slow eight second fade to just the blue spotlight in the center. So continue to play around with fade times like that, both up and down fade times. Um, you know, set what you want your next cue to look like, and then set the timing sequence of how it goes between your cues. Great, this is how we create a um, beautiful lighting design. Good luck.